Introduction According to Madre Nelson and Nett, in the book of Principle of Internet, second edition, Eternal are people who are able to see and evaluate business opportunity, combination and need for resource to take opportunity and take operation to ensure success. Internet is human creativity is developed something of value from something of no value. Internet is the process of creating any organization. Interpreter background Nen Mat Um Ben Uda is 58 years old, gender male, ethnic, ethnic Melayu, origin Malaysia. Assalamualaikum and my name is Muhammad Shazwan Mirosli. My number matric card is E two one eight zero Okay, name of the company. The name of company we studied was the Kropo Aneka Store. Kropo Aneka Store is a shop that sells a variety of crackers located in Ayalanas Village, Jeli. The store was established by Mr. Mount Bid Uda around 2001. The Kropo Aneka Store provides customers with a service to sell crackers. The Kropo Aneka Store also not only sells a variety of crackers but also sells chili sauce, budu and instant drinks. Okay, what type of uh, the business is he or she running? And in what industry? The business run by Mr. Mount Bin Uda is a is a cracker and industry business run by Mr. Mount is a food based industry. Mr. Mount already has a uh, experience in making and selling cracker at a factory located in Basut, Terengganu. The revenue that Mr. Mount earned while making and selling cracker in Basut was ten thousand during the festive during the festive season. Mr. Mount has worked at the Basut cracker a uh, factory for uh, 25 years who are the target customers most of the customers target by the Kropo Aneka store are in the are in the vis, uh, vicinity of Ayalanas Jeli is a UMK Jeli student MRSM student or waiting uh, to to uh, kilometer of the company in addition the way uh, of doing business that the company practice uh, is to ensure the quality of work is the best condition this is especially important for the cracker sh- for the anek uh, for the aneka uh, aneka sh- uh, cracker shop because as a result of quality work it will attract customer to deal with the their company this also includes being honest and trustworthy in carrying out a task related to the customer company How does she or she, uh, he or she run the business? Mr. Mount does business by selling a variety of crackers, chili sauce, budu, and instant drinks to customers. Mr. Mount took supplies from the cracker factory in the Besut and sold in so it in Ayalanas village. Mr. Mount's goals of selling crackers is to support the family. Mr. Mount did not make a bank loan when he opened the cracker shop, but after several years, uh, in the business of bank staff came to offer a loan to Mr. Mount, and Mr. Mount received a loan of. Uh, 30,000 30,000 ringgit Malaysia Mr. Mao also did not take any security instruction for his store How many employees does he or she have? In the early stage of business Mr. Mao had 2 employees only but now Mr. Mao already have uh, 8 employees consisting of 3 male and 5 female Mr. Mao also opened a side shop near the cracker shop that sells fried crackers, fried bananas and even drinks That's all from me, thank you Before starting his own business, Mr. Maung worked in factory located in Besut Terengganu. From there, Mr. Maung gained experience in in the process of making cracker and selling cracker for 20 years working there. Uh, next, Mr. Maung was in the village of Kuala Besut Terengganu, Mr. Mahu found that the sale of cracker was lucrative. Therefore, Mr. Mahu migrated to Islanders. Jadi, Mr. Mahu continued to start his business by selling cracker there. However, the sale of cracker increased especially on festive day. In, in addition, Mr. Mahu had never 
participate in any program or activity to entrepreneurship at a young age which the mom already had an interest in business Mr. Mao's parents do not run a business, but they are rubber tapper in his village. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Nur Hadi Raizati Binti Kam Nizam. And my magic number is E218064. And today, I'm going to present about the entrepreneur at the time he started the venture. The main motivation that Mr. Mount get when starting the business is when he has to support him and his family life and do what to when a convenient and comfortable life so it encourage him to start the business. Next, the factor that motivate Mr. Mount to starting the business is the difficulties that he faced in life. So, in order to uh, escape a wave of adversity so he's starting the business to have a more comfortable and good life. Goal that Mr. Mao said when he set up the business is he must be determined that he should run his business that legendly until his business becomes success and thrive. For the next point is resources that Mr. Mao have before starting the business. Before starting the business, Mr. Mao did not have any type of financial resources or capital resources. So, in order to do the business, Mr. Mao had to work first and raise his own capital to start the business. For the next point is, while running the business, is it Encik Mao being serious or not? So, during running the business, Encik Mao is being serious and working hard to advance the business. Besides that, a risk faced by Mr. Dowd while running the business is Mr. Dowd have to deal with fish damage. In month 10, 11, and 12 in each year, that time it is seven season. So, it can cause limit production and loss because dry process cannot be carried out, causes of rain, and it can cause damage on cracker if the cracker not dry properly. Last but not least, did Mr. Mawad do planning business before starting the business? Before starting the business, Mr. Mawad have done planning business like financial calculation of the cost of good and other relevant calculation that related to the business before he do the business. That's all from me. Thank you. Entrepreneur come from many different walks of life and span every industry, product type, generation and culture. But what all those entrepreneurs have in come is the state learning curve to success, which many lessons being learned along the way. There's some lesson we can conclude from this entrepreneur that is asset fail as part of the journey. Keep your eyes open for new opportunity. Never stop creating. Believe in yourself and give something back to the world. To success in sustain, sustainable business practice, often refer entrepreneurship and innovation. This is because it produces, provide an overview of entrepreneurship and innovation related to sustainable business. This discussion is most relevant to sustainable business that focus on offering new product and service in response to community concern. The importance of entrepreneurship and innovation also apply to companies that are changing the way changing the way their product produce product and service. The latter company can use innovative and entrepreneurial practice to create their brand, num brand name and be market leader in doing things that create share value for their co communities and company and also over time contribute to change in practice in their industry. They are also have some key success factors.
of business that is strategy focus people uh, operation marketing and finances